Today I'll be showing you how to mine cryptocurrency from a Linux computer. I'll be using DX pool. You can use any pool or you can use just the wallet. With DX pool, you'll need to create an account. When you sign into DX pool, one of the first things you'll want to do is go to settings, the gear icon in the top right, and change your paid password. You will need a paid password to be able to withdraw your cryptocurrency once you've sufficiently mined enough. The coin we'll be using is XMR. XMR uses a CPU, which gives it an advantage over GPU miners. We'll check the tutorial. Here in the tutorial, you'll see some basic configuration information. This will show for Windows, but in XM Rig's website, we'll see options for command line options for Linux, along with a wizard to help uh, set up our configuration file. Our quick start guide, we can set XMR, and we will need this pool URL for later. So heading over to XM Rig, we can download our software. Select download. We'll change this to Linux. And we'll download the tarball. After downloading, you'll need to extract it. And we can go over to our location where it is downloaded and extracted. With that open, we can look at our configuration file. We can edit it with any text editor. We'll return to this shortly. Using our wizard, we'll get the information necessary to set up that configuration file. Under new configuration, add pool, custom pool, and this is where we'll take our URL from DX pool. Paste that into host, remove that port number and move it over to port. In user, we will use our username from DX pool. Password is optional. Our coin will be Monero. Our algorithm will be RX forward slash zero. And then add pool. Our backend will be CPU. Miscellaneous is to donate to the devs. A minimum of one can be selected. Generosity, I'm sure they would appreciate. Our result is what our configuration file will look like. Down on the bottom left of that window, you can select Linux for what the command line option would look like. And our text editor will scroll down to where the algorithm goes and we'll enter our rx forward slash zero. Our coin can be Monero or XMR. I already have my URL here. I just need to change .net to .com. .net would also be fine as it is one of the URL options for DX pool for XMR. And here username, mine is blacked out in this configuration file. And you can enter a rig ID to help you keep track of which rig is running. We can go and open this in our terminal at this location. You'll want to make sure when you run XM rig that you are running it from where it is extracted running it as super user, go sudo dot forward slash XMRig and enter your password. And this is what it will look like when it's running. You can alternatively run from the command line option also with super user. Heading over to our wallet, you can get a Monero wallet from most repositories. 
this is from the Discover store. Select Receive, copy the address, and we'll head over to DX Pool and paste our address. And we're going to check what the current exchange rate is with Change Now. Change Now allows you to withdraw at lower amounts than some others like Changely, although Changely is also a wonderful exchange. I'll be changing my XMR to Doge. You'll notice a lock icon. You can lock your rate or you can let it float. Floating rates can be withdrawn in a smaller amount. So that looks like about how much I would be getting. In the recipient address, I'll be using Coinbase. And for the refund wallet, I'll be using my Monero wallet. So if anything goes wrong, my funds will go back to my original wallet that I'm sending from. But before that, I need to make sure that my funds go from DX Pool to my Monero wallet to start the process. Double checking my address. It looks good. So we can get our pay password entered and get our email verification code. Mind you, this was completed over a number of months. With the number of miners that I had, it took about three months to get to that amount. More miners would be more money, or a stronger CPU would also result in more money and confirm. All right, funds have been received. So now I'm going to select Send. It'll take a little bit of time for the money to be available to be spent. I'll be fast forwarding through some of these portions. The other leg of this process will be receiving the crypto as Doge for my use case. You'll select the appropriate cryptocurrency that you'll be receiving. We'll need this for change now So now we have both the sending address from the Monero wallet and we'll, we have the recipient address for Doge from the Coinbase wallet. A little bit of time has passed since the earlier portions of this video, as in weeks. So I'll be putting in the amount that I have now, which is 0.54 XMR. And I'll go ahead and hit exchange. This will be my Doge coin, Coinbase address for receiving Doge. And I'll go ahead and copy my Monero sending address. And that'll be for my refund wallet and confirm. few confirmations. This process also takes a bit of time, so I'll be skipping through this. And 
not complete. So I'll check Coinbase and it should show that this transaction is pending. My web browser is not connected to my bank account, so I will be switching over to my phone. If your Coinbase account is connected to your bank account, you should also be able to do this through your browser if you prefer. So from Coinbase on your phone or your browser, you'll select your cryptocurrency. For my case, I'll be selecting Doge. And then I'll be selling that to cash. Select the currency that you'll be selling and what you'll be selling it for. I'll change this to cash. And I'll be selling all. There are quite a few fees throughout this whole process, so what you mine isn't exactly what you'll receive. Now that I have it sold, I'll transfer it to my bank account as withdrawal cash. Double checking and I'm impatient, so I will select the instant option and cash out maximum. I will be receiving actually less than that 725 because of the fee. And cash out now. Enter the two factor authentication, and that's it. That's mining cryptocurrency from installation all the way through mining and cashing out to your bank account. Thanks for watching.